My name is Charles Butler. I'm uh, presently stationed at the New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park. But for most of the last 15 years, I've worked here at the Barataria Wetlands Preserve. I am a certified ISA arborist, a National Park Service preservation arborist, um, have several degrees in unrelated fields, <laughs> and uh, mostly I love doing tree work. I've uh, personally planted more than a million trees. I, uh, with my hands, I've supervised the planting, doing forestry work of many millions more. So I feel like I've done my share in terms of uh, the not enough trees end of the equation. The Barataria Wetlands Preserve being a 30,000 acre wetlands preserve designated uh, by Congress set off for preservation and is a terrific example of America's disappearing wetlands. The Barataria Wetlands is a terrific example of America's disappearing wetlands. It's um, uh, fallen prey to subsidence, which is a natural occurrence in wetlands, especially if you levy off the uh, supply of fresh soil and organic matter, as in the levees along the Mississippi River. And then you put it alongside a, uh, a saltwater environment, and salt incursion uh, complicates the uh, subsidence issues. And then on top of that, if you put a changing global climate, which is causing sea levels to rise, you have the uh, water rising and the, the land subsiding as organic matter decays and uh, the uh, sand and mineral particles squeeze the moisture out from between them. And uh, you end up with some of the highest relative sea level rise on the planet, right here, just south of the city of New Orleans. This deltaic soil that we're sitting and standing on right now is only 2,000 years old. The river created this 2,000 years ago. It should have had a much longer lifespan, but it's disappearing now. You can see the changes within the lifetime of a human being, which is phenomenal. Geologic processes are supposed to take much longer than that. But we're changing the climate of this planet at a rate that uh, many species have been un unable to keep up with. and. Um, many more are going to succumb to. The, uh, the climate is changing, it's getting warmer. There is a, uh, a huge tipping point. I don't see any way, even if we started doing everything right today, that we could stop this from happening for 50 or 100 years because these processes do not turn around on a dime. So what we need to do at this point is to begin to, to think about how we can mitigate this. How can we prepare for these, uh, this looming change in our environment, this radical change, and um, start making preparations for it.